I like them Balenciaga, the one that I look like sucks. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anik and this is where we discuss all the beautiful luxury things. And today we're gonna talk about Balenciaga sneakers. If that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Before we get into it, I just want to share with you that I hit a milestone. This is huge since I started, for me at least, since I started doing this thing called YouTube. So I just reached 10,000 hours view. So thank you so much to everyone. I guess that's all the small views that I'm getting here and there. They add up and in the end I have about 10,000 views and that really warmed my heart when I received that message from YouTube, simply because, you know, this is a passion of mine and I'm spending my own money getting these things and I'm just sharing a few things I've learned and I'm learning hopefully helps you make the best decision for you. And as I said at the beginning of this season two, that if I hit the 10,000 views, I'll get a light. So I did that. I just got a light. That's why it's a little bit different. And I changed the settings. Um, I wanted to sit somewhere comfortable. So I came on my luxurious emerald couch that you can really see on the video, but it's, it feels so good to sit here. And it will make it like more of a homey feel. Hopefully you're watching it in a place where you're also super comfortable. Okay, enough of that. So Balenciaga, the best way I would describe the brand right now, I'll say that it's a luxury streetwear house. And it's very, very relevant to the times we live in. That's why you see it everywhere. And that's why even Cardi B sang about it, right? I was in Paris, of course. I enjoyed it. And let me tell you that walking in the street of Paris, I am very, very observant. And I was looking everywhere to see what people were wearing. And I kid you not, people were wearing Balenciaga sneakers, at least three people I'll meet a day wearing those sneakers. But that's how I knew how huge Balenciaga had the market share in terms of the luxury streetwear. Um, because again, you saw it everywhere. But even when you Google, you'll see that Balenciaga is typically one of the most searched brands. So today, right? I thought I'll review sneakers that I got from Paris. I have a lot of box here. I am not gonna keep them all, but again, I'm just gonna open them up with you and we'll talk about those. First, we're gonna start with this one. One, two, three, here we go. So, they came in a box like this, the Balenciaga box, and they are one second, one second, I'm gonna open them for you. Here we go. So opening the box, you have this, the authenticity cards that you get. Of course, you have the dust bag here, just to protect your shoes. And then we can unpack them. Here we are. This is what we have. So, these are the speed trainer by Balenciaga. I'm gonna bring them closer to the camera. Are they cute? It's such a cute color for a pair of shoes, right? So the speed trainer by Balenciaga, they first came out in 2016. And again, they are a creation by Demna the creative designer of Balenciaga. So he joined the house in 2015, and these came out shortly after. They were a huge success for the house, and they are still are, because six years later, 2022, this is June when I'm recording this video, they are still as relevant as they were in 2016. If you're a luxury sneakerhead, or if you're just a luxury lover in general, you probably have a pair of this, or you probably know someone who owns a pair of this, and or you even want to own one yourself. 
the black were super popular, but Balenciaga released a couple of different colors. And these are the Speed 2.0. They are a little bit an advanced version of the original that came out in 2016. What Balenciaga did with the Speed 2.0 sneaker is that they brought a little bit more, more. You hear that noise? You hear that? So Balenciaga brought a little bit more flexibility to the shoe itself. So before, yes, they were beautiful and they were they had the sleek design. So that still remains, but now you have a lot of flexibility in the sole. And that was brilliant on Balenciaga parts, just to elevate the design of the shoe uh, in terms of the comfort and the flexibility, simply because it will incentivize people who, let's say they wear like glass shoes, it will get them to wear these as well, right? On a daily basis, simply because, again, they're as comfortable as the other brands of sneakers, right? So these parts really hug your ankles, right? And in doing so, you provide a little bit more flexibility. So because these shoes are so popular, I'll say that there are so many fakes and counterfeit on the market. I would recommend that you purchase them directly from Balenciaga or a reputable retailer, right? Where you know at least you'll get a receipt, you'll get an authentication code, you know? And all those different things matter, right? So if you're spending your hard-earned money on this, you want to have something that's real and that's not fake. So things to pay attention to when you have these ones is that you have the logo on, on four different places, right? So you have the logo right there, says Balenciaga. Also have the logo in the back here, as you can see. You also have the logo on the sole right there it tells you but even inside the shoe okay first i'm gonna remove this you okay there you go we got it and inside the shoe right there so stretchy here you go you also have the balenciaga logo inside a couple of things to pay attention to when you also purchase it the sizing will be here so you'll have the sizing in the interior. So pretty much what it will tell you is that the sizing will have the UK size, the European size, the US sizing, as well as the Japan size. It will say made in Italy. And then you also have a link to the website that says www.balenciaga.com. Again, you'll see here that it's very sleek in the front. And look at this transition between the upper material and the sole. It's super, super seamless, right? So these are the different things that you should pay attention to when you're purchasing these sneakers, right? So I was debating what color to get. I know that I wanted to resell some of them here in Canada. So I went with two different colors. I'll probably keep one and sell the other. So these are the pink one. What I love about these is uh, they are a little bit different in the sense that, yes, you have the black logo and they're a little bit pink. Um, they don't really look pink on the camera, but if I bring them closer, you'll see that they're light pink. And what I love is this around the ankle. So you have a white strap, black and white strap. I really like that because, again, it goes well with the sole where you have the black and white sole. So that in itself is a beautiful, gorgeous color in my opinion and it's super feminine as well. So I like to have feminine style. Okay. I'm the type of girl that gets the nails done, the makeup done and all that. So this goes well with my personality. Or oh, there are also these ones. I love these ones because they are all monochrome look. So you have lilac. It's not super purple, but it's more a lilac color here. So you have the lilac in sole. Um, you have a white logo on these ones. And the logo is super hidden here in the back, right? So you, you barely notice that it's Balenciaga. Of course, you have these ones. And if you know it, you'll know. But 
that's what I love about these ones. They are more discreet than these. But again, if you know, you know. So I think in terms of the verdict, after looking at them for quite a while, um, I said that I'll most likely keep these ones um, because I love pink. To be honest, I love pink. So I think I'll keep these ones. Let me know if you like them. But before I leave, I have another sneaker that I would love to review with you. And these are the Track 2.0 Balenciaga sneakers. Let me open the box. It's, I'm not going to show you the box because it's just the same thing as the Speed 2.0 box that I showed you. These are the Track 2.0 trainers. Uh, so the track themselves, the original one, I believe they came out in 2017. But throughout the years, it's 2022 now, uh, Balenciaga decided to release the second version of them. And that's what you mostly have on the market right now. They kind of remind me of a blend of um, track shoes and hiking shoes, right? So I guess that's where they get the, their name, right? Track. They are very, very sturdy compared to the speed trainers. They are heavy, um, heavier on the feet, but they also have so many intricacies. Like, look at the detailing of this shoe. Okay? You have layers upon layers, and some of these layers are leather and others are not, but you have layers upon layers of detailing right like look for instance here. you have all this breathable material there but you have also this that comes in here and here and all that and in terms of the logo the logo is here on the outsole of the shoe zooming in zooming out here you go so that's where you have the logo that says Balenciaga. Of course, you also have a logo on the sole right there. And I love what they did in the front. In the front here, you have the BB sign facing each other. And of course here as well, on the back, you just have a white Balenciaga logo. These are different. So if you're about building your Balenciaga sneaker collection. I would definitely recommend that you get this as well, simply because you don't typically see shoes like this, at least trainers like this on the market. If you are more about the comfort, um, I'll say that you will stick to the Speed 2.0, but again, these are different, so I'll definitely vouch for them. In terms of the sizing and the feeling of the shoe, uh, the general consensus is that Balenciaga tends to fit a little bit your normal size or a little bit of a size R. They are on the larger size. So I'll say that take your normal size. But if you have large feet, um, I mean the width, if the width of your feet is larger, then I'll definitely recommend that you size up. But they are supposed to fit tight from what I learned and from what I've seen and just like trying to wear them here just to test them out. Uh, yeah, they are supposed to fit tight. How would I clean this shoe? I'll clean them with just soap, water, and a toothbrush, just like to comb all the dirt out. Um, I won't put them in the washing machine. I know people who wash their shoes in the washing machine. If you are one of those people, more power to you. But for me, I don't do that necessarily. Um, so that's my little two cents on the Balenciaga Speed 2.0 trainers and the Track 2.0 trainers. Let me know what you think about it. Um, are you a Balenciaga fan? Do you enjoy the latest collection in the Paris fashion menswear going on right now? So did you see something that you like in terms of the clothes? If yes, let's converse. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about them in the comments. And if there are other things that you'd like me to review, let me know. And until then, bye. Mwah.